Hi everyone, uh, John here from Booth Picks. I get asked quite a lot, how do I uh, turn a client sketch into a photo booth template when I'm talking to other photo booth operators? So I thought I'd do a quick sketch on how I do it. Uh, there's probably other ways, but this is how I do it. So this is um, on the screen is the uh, sketch we recently received from one client, and they wanted something vaguely like this for their photo booth layout. So how would I then take this and put it into the photo booth software? Uh, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to be using PS Remote. The same principle work in all of Bree's uh, solutions in a very similar fashion. So uh, let's get stuck into it, so you can see how it all works. Now, the first thing is we need to know what dimensions uh, does the photo booth software uh, use uh, for its image. So let's open PS Remote. Let's go to Photo Booth Settings. Let's go to Custom Layout down here. Click on the Settings tab and then we want the printer infrared tab down here. Now this compu uh, computer is plugged into a Canon selfie on the desktop uh, you know, using the office and it tells me it's 1823 by 1232 pixels so I need to make a note of that um, and take that back into Photoshop. So we'll just come out of all this go back into Photoshop and we'll go File, New and as you can see we've got it programmed in but 1823 and 1232 I use uh, 300 dpi and a transparent uh, backdrop ok so there's our uh, template if you like our base layer I'm going to duplicate that layer so I've now got a, a transparent background and a working layer uh, for the uh, overlay ok uh, so now I want to put in a bit of colour into uh, the overlay I don't want to use this Starry Night template from Van Gogh, but we'll just give it a nice blue copy. Um, and then into that we want to add uh, some squares. Uh, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger than that and roughly centred. It would be very approximate in this video. Uh, so I just want to quickly put some guides in so I can see where I'm working on the page. So I need to know what is halfway. Half of 1823 is uh, 9.1 so if I put it right there I should get a vertical, there we go and if I do the same on the horizontal which is 616 half of 1232 voila, right so now then, next thing we need to do is put some rectangles on the page I'm going to give them a vile, disgusting colour so we know where they are now then um, so I'm going to do this very very roughly just as a sample for the minute I'm sure it will change as we go along uh, first box there, I'm going to quickly duplicate that one so they're all of a very similar size. Something like that, I'll put it roughly centre and the same again, coming down here. I won't put it quite down the bottom because I want a bit of space for text at the bottom. So something like that and another one. As I say, take your time with this, get it right. This is just rough for the uh, demonstration so something along those lines is what we're looking for okay I now need to cut out those green boxes to get rid of them from the background layer which is the blue layer that we're working on so using the marquee tool I very quickly select one of the boxes get it roughly in the right place so it's jumping around a bit in my mouse something like that hit delete whilst on that layer and it will delete it and move that across just get it roughly in the next box. Same again, hit delete. And you can see on the uh, the layer in the background in the corner there that each each part is slowly disappearing. And there we go. All four bits removed. And if I just delete these you'll see them very simply. There you go. And then uh, deselect layer there. Let's quickly insert our text across here. Um, I've already selected the font. I uh, just need to change the font colour. Let's just do that. And it would be Finally, I just need to put the black boxes around the edges. I'm going to use the stroke tool here, so click stroke. Uh, 
it's going to be about 15 pixels, give or take. It's going to be in black. And it would look something along those lines. So then I would just save that as file, save as. Uh, it's a PNG file we want. Uh, and we'd call it overlay, overlay PNG, because that's what Breeze Systems uses for the overlays. Um, and there we go. Sorry, not in there, but there, that's it, saved. Ready to drag into Breeze Systems to use uh, at the next event. Hope you found this useful. Please come back and visit part two while I explain how to take this uh, design and program the coordinates into Breeze Systems so that you can use it uh, during the event. Speak to you soon. Cheers.